Let's talk to this guy. See, this is a different reality because that guy has a different haircut. Marcelli, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. Ooh, I think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? <laughs> Excuse me. Suki, not a mannequin. Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just rape. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut. Say another tut, word, tut. Mister, and I shall unleash my anger. Whoa. Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about your mannequin. <sighs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do autographs. I'm here on my private time. Uh, let's do military maniac. When did you become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? <sighs> Progress cannot be stopped. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent. Like fluttering petals. <laughs> any moment, His characters are so awesome. is going to just explode into my brain. Like, ooh. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. And ah, ah, God, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yes. Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash. Now, say it with me. Oh, God. <laughs> this will be my next theme. <laughs> so awesome. We, like, brought him back to his regular person. Your mannequin. Is Suki really okay? Look at her smooth, perfect, perfect body. body. She doesn't have a mark on her. What am I supposed to do? Was I supposed to be doing something? Please stop staring like that. Oh, scary poor Suki. She okay. really hates beardy, scruffy animals like you most of all. Oh, sorry then. Spare mannequin? Can I ask you something? How many spare Sukis do you have? Hey, there's no spare for her. She's unique in all the world and one of a kind to me. Unbelievably smooth. Uh, all right. You are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on living. Yeah, I swing its leg. This does look like the real Suki. Just what's going on here? I'm telling you, this is an alternate reality. We got something. Cutting edge of fashion. Red powder? You've got red powder on your clothes. Uh oh. What is it? 
Real blood? Uh, uh, oh god, he's high as hell. No wonder. Excuse me. Now then, uh, where exactly is this red powder on my clothing? Up? An elite fashion designer. And a mysterious powder? My instincts as a former narcotics detective tell me something's up. <laughs> Question him and find out. Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and ask him. Have Zero percent. Of, oh, it's, uh... Uh, oh. Is this just bluster? I need to fuck... We have to up by go doing zero. Brilliant lights cast deep shadows. What's that supposed to mean? Musicians, artists, designers, top clientele for drug pushes. I don't deny it. And you're one of them too? <laughs> I... There's nothing that can possibly stimulate me more than her. Comparing her to the effects of mere chemicals, synthetic drugs, <laughs> you may as well just slap her in the face. D, what kind of question is that? I'm investigating something. Even if I knew about it, I wouldn't necessarily tell you, would I? He makes a good point. I can't approach this head on. Do the fashion world again? Oh my god. Real blood. Yours is a world of trends, isn't it? There are trends in drugs, too. You're sensitive to trends, right? You know what I'm talking about. Real blood. The ultimate drug. Considered the final and best of the blood series. As the name might suggest, it's a bright red powder. Just like the suspicious powder I saw on your clothing. You seem quite desperate to paint me as a junkie. But you're just overthinking things. The substance you question is nothing like that silly, real blood. It's far more wonderful, revolutionary, like a completely new age. For now, well, just call it D. Tell me more about this new age. <clears throat> no comment. No comment. If it's all legit, surely you can tell me about it. It isn't time to reveal anything yet. You'll hear about it soon enough, along with the rest of the world. So you're planning on spreading a new age called D across the entire world simultaneously? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> this guy could be a lot more dangerous than he looks. I'll try taunting him a little. Oh god. Hmm, I'll try taunting. I've worked it out. The D of this new age is the D from Duncan. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> In other words, you want to make your own name the symbol of this new age. The whole world will be under the spell of the red powder that bears your name. But that isn't art. It's just attention seeking. The desire for conquest. Just another wannabe dictator. Is that what Suki wants? Say whatever you like. It's not like you can stop me. This guy is tougher than I thought. He knows I don't have anything on him. Okay? I'll slap him with some proof. Something he can't run away from. All this talk of a new age called D, though. I just hope my bad feeling about all this is way off the mark. All right. Um
Why would I grab this? Why did I even think to try this? I must be getting tired. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's move up. Well, at least this one opened easily. Well, there's this. Talk to this crazy lady. I can't take it anymore. Take what? What is Deborah talking about? That lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails. So I'm doing my best not to touch them. But I can't take it anymore. My arms, legs, neck, back, everything is screaming in pain. Oh my god. I need to try and calm it down. <laughs> oh my god. Now he's going to touch the floor. She has to write down the notes. Lightning striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Do you think this plane is okay? First squeaking windows and now seats and floors are electrified I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane hold it what was that about the windows they were squeaking right squeaking the windows you're saying the windows on this bucket squeak oh my god now she's gonna freak out mm -hmm. Thirty-three people sniffed. I guess I got all the information I could get. You're pulling my leg. If the windows were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Fall from an airplane and you'll die. <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> There certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here then? Telling you. We gotta do the extra case. What are you doing now? I'm rereading my old notes. Your old ones? It's your fault. You've got me all riled up. If the window really is squeaking, I need to check if I've got any notes on what to do about it. I'm sure I had something on it. Hey, you, make yourself useful. While I'm reading, you go around and check the windows for me. Okay. I just did this. I already checked the windows. No complaining, no talking back. Get to work. Hey, hold on. Man. Set. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Alright, let's go. Start at the front.
Whatever happened to the big tall dude with the fork and the knife? <laughs> There's 15 windows? I only got six. Oh, there's the guy way over there. Alright, we're gonna have to give up for now. Until we can move this out of the way. Alright, let me take a break. Hey.